guys, today we're gonna have a little bit of fun and I'm going to do my first, I guess, official multi-palette bingo. I don't remember where this started or who did this first, but I've seen Butte Bean do this a lot lately and I wanna try it too, so if you don't already know who Betty Jean is, I will, of course, link her up there like I always do, but basically I'm going to pick five random palettes and then I'm going to draw a shade from each of those palettes and then we're going to make a look out of those five shades. So I think we should just pull up my app here and I'm going to use my little roulette app to help pick up my palettes. Can you hear my cat? Tro. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by drawing my first palette now. I just got to make sure that the screen is recording here. And then I guess we'll do five palettes. And if it ends up on the same palette, I will just draw another shade from that palette. So I'm going to first draw all of my palettes and then I'll go into random.org and draw the numbers on the palettes after. Ooh, so we have the block party palette as the first one. That is awesome, shut up. I just got a pop up on my screen. I don't know if you can see that, but it was like, would you like to rate this? No, I'm in the middle of filming a YouTube video. I don't wanna rate you. So let's find another palette. Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's a lot of brown in that. <laughs> Let's draw another one. 80s Baby palette by Pinky Rose. This is this is going to be fun. I'm I'm already excited about this. So we got two more. Weekend Festival palette by BH Cosmetics. This is going really well. Like I like all of these palettes. So last one. Let's see what we get. Ooh, and Natasha Denona Sunset palette. I'm going to go grab all of those and then I will be right back. All right, so I got my palettes here. So I guess I will start with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm sure you have all seen what this looks like. If not, what are you doing on this channel? Actually, you know what, I take that back because I'm not really the kind of person who would normally buy a palette like this. And I bought this like in the beginning of my makeup journey, if you will, when I didn't really know what my makeup aesthetic was. So this is what the palette looks like. Hopefully we will get a shade on like the last row or something, that would be nice. Um, I am actually going out for a date night tonight after this. So, I mean, who knows what, that look is going to end up looking like, but this just goes to show that I always wear my makeup out after I'm done making it because like, what's the point of doing makeup if you're not going to wear it out, at least in my opinion. So let's see now. So I have my random.org up and I've put in one through 35. So we are going to generate and we got shade number five. And shade number five is going to be this uh, shimmery pink shade right here. So that's not too bad. I was kind of expecting to get a brown, but thankfully we didn't get that. So let's swatch this. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. So this is the first shadow. This could be pretty. I mean, that's not a bad shade. I don't mind this at all. So I'm going to choose the first two palettes that I feel like there's a chance that we're going to get a brown in because I want to make sure that I know that beforehand, not that it really matters, but this is my Natasha Denona Sunset palette. And this palette has 15 shades in it, so let's generate. Shade number six. <laughs> of course, of course I get a very neutral dark brown, that's great. <laughs> Maybe I will be rocking a neutral look for our date night tonight. So this is the brown shadow. So far, yawn. <laughs> Next, let's move into the 80s Baby palette by Pinky Rose, which has 14, 14 shapes. So one through 14. And let's generate again. Shade number four. So we have the shade called 17, which looks to be a bit of a kind of magenta shimmer. So, I mean, the color story is at least kind of cohesive, I suppose, with the two sort of pink shades and a brown, which is kind of boring still, but at least they're working together, so I'm not going to look like a clown when we go out for dinner. Next up, we have the Block Party palette. Now, the only shadow I don't really want to get in here is the matte white, because that would be kind of boring. So we have 10 shades, like I think I said that. Didn't I just say that? I think I just said that. So let's generate and see what we get in this one. So we have shade number three. That is the yellow, so that's fun. Can't complain about having a yellow matte. And then we have one more shadow, which is going to be from the Weekend Festival palette, which looks like this. And I actually did order the new festival palette. I think they call it a festival palette. The new one that just came out. That was a very random sporadic decision. I did not mean to do that at all. I wanted to just go online and order a brush set. And then I saw that palette and I was like, you know what, it is kind of pretty. So I ended up getting it because I have no self-control. So yeah, there will be a review on that very, 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 very soon. So 
keep an eye out for that. And this palette has, let's see, five times four, 20 shadows. And we are generating for the last time. And we have number 12. Let's see, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we have flash, which, which looks to be a bit of an orangey shimmer. Hopefully I don't have anything else on this finger. And here is the complete color story. So, can't say I'm extremely excited about that. Not going to lie. So, yeah, let me think about what to do now and kind of try to remember all of the shades and all of these palettes. And while I think about this, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot. So I think I already kind of have a plan for what I want to do here. I kind of want to do a kind of, I'm saying kind of a lot, I'm so sorry about that, but I want to do a bit of a dark smoky eye. So I think I'm going to start off by just taking this brown shade and putting that all over my crease as well as blending it in, or taking it all over my lid and blending it into my crease. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with this uh, shimmery kind of dark, what is this even? It's not a purple. I don't know, but this shadow right here, and then I'm going to put that all over my lid and then... On my lower lash line, I think I'm first going to start off by smudging the yellow all over and then I'm going to go in with the orange shimmer like closer to my lower lash line and then just putting the pink in my inner corner. I don't know. It just, that's kind of just what my brain told me to do. So I guess I'm going to keep it kind of simple today. So the first shadow that I am dipping into is going to be the brown shade and this was from the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm going to go in pretty heavy with this. Like I said, I did not set my primer. So I'm basically just going to start by packing this all over my lid. I suppose I could use the yellow to blend this out with, but I really want this to be more, more of a dramatic look. And I don't really like the thought of having yellow in the crease when I'm going to go in with that kind of purpley shimmer on the lid. And I'm now just going to take my time and start to work on blending this into my crease. So this is looking super exciting right now. So we're gonna have to spice this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go into my Pinky Rose palette now and I'm gonna take this 17 shade and I'm basically going to just pack that all over my lid where I put down the brown. And I'm also going to spray this. So I'm just going to be popping that on. That is so stunning. I don't know if I've used this shadow before. This is actually really pretty. I'm also going to sort of blend this into my crease which is why I'm using a bit of a fluffier brush to do this with. And this is my Wet n Wild brush that I got for my uh, Wet n Wild video that I did. It's the uh, P15. And this brush is actually really, really, really good. So I'm hoping that by pulling this into my crease, I'm kind of going to be changing the brown color into more of a purple, which sort of seems to be working. So the lid is going to end up looking a bit like this, and I don't really hate this if I'm being honest, so that's good. Alright, so now that these two are done, I'm going to close those two palettes. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to clean up the lines here a bit because I know that the shadow that I'm putting on my lower lash line is not going to like cover up. And so I want this line to be a bit sharp since I'm not really going to mix them into each other that much. So I'm going to take a bit of my uh, Too Faced concealer and just use a small lip brush and just kind of drag this where I want the line to be a bit cleaner. And I mean, you could of course just not do your base first and this would be a lot easier to clean up. And I'm also going to pull some of this concealer down to my lower lash line. That's a bit of a primer. And then I am first going to dip into the Suva Beauty palette and I'm going to take the yellow that we drew and I'm going to really smudge that on my lower lash line here. And then right on top of this, just closer to my lower lashes, I'm going to put Flash from the BH Cosmetics palette, which was the shimmery orange that we have right here. And I'm just pulling this all the way across. I feel like there's a lot of directions I could have gone in this look. I definitely could have done a cut crease and I definitely could have used the yellow and the brown in my crease, which I guess would be like the most obvious thing to do. but. I don't know. I just never feel like doing the obvious thing to do because I don't want you guys to sit there and be like, oh, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Not that I think that you would think that anyway, but you know what I mean? Like, I like to do something that is kind of unexpected, if you will. And also, I just did not feel like having a brown cut crease, you know? <laughs> it's just not really that exciting. 
So I know you can't really see the yellow that much, but I feel like you can still see it enough under there that it's not cheating. It's not like I really covered it up. So we only have one shadow left, and that is going to be the Pink Shimmer from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm gonna take, man, this palette is so big. I'm gonna take this shadow right here, and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner because that's all I got left. So we're putting that right here. So this shadow is definitely not as poppin' as I would have liked for it to be. I really haven't used my Jaclyn Hill palette that much because it just doesn't really excite me anymore. So I suppose this is going to be it for shadows. I do want to try to kind of spruce this up a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure how. I think for my eyeliner though, I'm going to use this one by Urban Decay. It's called Starfire, which is kind of like a shimmery orange. And then I want to do some kind of a fun colored liner, perhaps. I don't know. Let me put this in first. I'm kind of thinking, since we are using the Suwa Beauty palette, that I want to use my Suwa Beauty Hydra Liner. Could that be an idea? Is this going to show up enough? I feel like it'll just give a bit of an accent color to the look, so I think I'm going to do a liner with this. If only I have some water. I need to go get some water. Alright, the water is here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you don't know what this is, this is basically a water activated liner, so I'm going to dip my eyeliner brush into water. And then I'm going to mix this up. And when you do, this creates a bit of a paste. So I'm going to use this to do a liner with, and I will be right back after because I can't talk when I do this. So I do feel like this look needs a little bit more. So <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my steely glitter and I'm gonna pop a bit more of that into my inner corner. And this is in the shade Perlina. Now I wish I had my silver one, but that one dried out. So I can't use that, but Hopefully this is going to look good as well. If I have anything left of this, I might actually not have. Damn, that kind of sucks. Let me see if I have something else. So instead, I'm going to take my Pixie Glitter, and this is in the shade Crystalline. I've said before, I don't really, really like this formula that much, especially on top of other shadows. I don't mind it as much in my inner corner, but I feel like when I put this on top of other shadows, it really disrupts the shadow underneath, and it just does not look good. So I'm just going to take some of this on a brush. And then I'm going to pop that right on top of that inner corner. So that looks a lot better. Alright, I am a lot happier with this, so I'm going to finish off by just putting on some mascara and then I'll be right back. And I think to just make this look a little bit more exciting, I'm going to use my MAC O Sweetie Gloss in banana muffins. So this is just going to be like a metallic orange lipstick. So let's see how this looks. I'm not sure how this is going to look with this, but I feel like it might tie it together. I'm not sure I'm actually feeling this. I kind of feel like I just want to go with a matte lipstick instead. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to find something else. As much as I like this, it's just not the right look for it, I think. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like this today, but I just, I don't like this. So I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm just going to play it safe today and I'm going to use my Pumpkin Pie by Jeffree Star because I just, I wanna do something orange with this look. Okay, I like this a lot more. So I guess this is going to complete the look. Now, looking at these swatches, which are pretty much done by now, but I don't know, I'm kind of happy with this look. I feel like I kind of pulled it off, but it was a little bit iffy in the beginning and I wasn't sure if it was going to be exciting at all, but I don't hate how this turned out. I also don't love it, but that's just because I don't really love the color combination. And like I said before, there are so many different things and different directions that I could have gone with in this look. So I don't really know how I feel about it. I don't hate it. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's not my favorite look that I've ever done. And I kind of wish that this wasn't like my date night look, but you know what, it's fine. It's just gonna have to do, it's just makeup. It's not the end of the world. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoy this multi-palette bingo. I definitely wanna do more of these because this was kind of fun, but maybe I need to declutter my collection first. <laughs> I actually do wanna do a declutter soon though. So let me know if you wanna see that. I wanna kind of declutter everything. So not really sure how I'm going to go about that yet, but I do plan on starting to film a declutter series soon. So pretty excited about that because I have a lot of stuff that 
it's just kind of sitting in my drawers that I never get any use out of that I just want to kind of get out of my collection but I've been sort of saving it up for a declutter video if that makes sense so yeah that's going to be it for today's video I like I said I hope you enjoyed it if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video bye